together for a great purpose for the noble mission to establish women's and children's rights. Here we have great personalities whom you can say international heroes and nation's pride. So here I'm taking the privilege, the very prestigious and welcoming all of our international guests on this international platform. How are you all today? Great, thank you. And you? Yes, Alhamdulillah, thanks a lot. So here, as you can see, we have Gayane from Armenia, Dr. Ah. Shekhi Bhutani from India, Miss Elif from Turkey, Vilma from Brazil, and Catherine Malmor from Sweden. And many of other guests will be joining you very shortly from different multinational countries. All of our international guests, as you know, today our topic is women's and children's rights. How is the position in each of our country? I will request all of your kind presentation introductory report first. So here, can I request Ms. Gaina from Armenia to please introduce herself and share her great presentation. Ms. Gaina, welcoming you on this international platform. Can you please introduce yourself, ma'am, and please share your presentation? Yes, of course. I would like to share my screen and then start introducing myself and then my presentation. Sure. Now I will share my screen. Is it visible for you? Yeah, it's connecting, ma'am. It's connecting. Yes, it has come. Yeah, it has come. Super. Great presentation. But, Can you please start your introductory part and presentation? Yes, sure. But I don't see it, you know. Yes, I can see it and we all can see it, ma'am. Please go on. OK, that's great. So as you have mentioned, I am Gayane Vardanyan. I'm from Armenia, the capital city, Yerevan. And I am an English language teacher and a psychologist by profession. And uh, I have already been teaching for 12 years at Leo High School number 65. Uh, as an English language teacher, I teach 10th, 11th and 12th graders. And as a psychologist, I work with students with disabilities. Um, so I can say that I do a great task for my community, for my school, for my students. And I am very happy to be here with the, all of you and to speak about women's rights in Armenia. And I have created mostly my presentation about Armenia, about uh, women in Armenia. So let's start. Yes. Uh, can you see now my second page? Yes, yes. You can start with the second page, please. Yeah. You know, it's very hard. I cannot see what you see now in your screens. <laughs> we can see that it is written women in Armenia. Okay. That's great. So let's start women in Armenia. Women in Armenia have enjoyed equal rights, including the right to vote since the establishment of the First Republic of Armenia. On June 21st and 23rd in 1919, the first direct parliamentary elections were held in Armenia under universal suffrage. Every person over the age of 20 had the right to vote regardless of gender, ethnicity or religious beliefs. So from this time uh, Armenian women uh, started mm, to have their equal rights uh, in elections and contained three women deputies. They were selected Katarina Zalian Manukyan, Berchuhi Partismanian Barsegian and Varvara Sahakyan. And the constitution of the current Republic of Armenia was adopted in 1991 and officially guarantees gender equality. This has enabled women to actively 
actively participate in all spheres of Armenian life, Armenian women have attained prominence in entertainment, politics, and other fields. And next, I would like to speak a little about traditional status. Uh, the view of ancient Armenian society and law as woman friendly presented by some Armenian intellectuals from the early 20th century to the present times has been contested. Married women in those centuries, like in 18th and 19th, lived as virtual slaves of their husbands' families. Although the situation improved gradually with age and during the first year of marriage, they were not permitted to speak to anyone except their husbands and were forbidden from leaving the house. Young Armenian brides created a sign language which was called Harseren, which translates uh, into English like language of the bride. It is a gesture based sign language that developed against the rule of silence imposed on married Armenian women. And in some villages, uh, these restrictions continued even after of the first child and may have lasted more than 10 years. And female suicide was more common than male suicide during that year. Sorry, was I interrupted? Yeah, can, <laughs> can you talk now? Can you go on, Dan? Yeah, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. So, from where I stopped, I saw that I was disconnected from chat. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so please uh, share uh, the rest part. What was yeah, I do. I do it now. Can you see? Uh, it's connecting. Yeah, it's now on the screen. Yeah, just uh, quality wealth empowerment. Please go yes, on. Yes. Uh, so I would like to say that this uh, presentation, mostly the topic I have taken from the UNDP website, and they do many good programs for women in Armenia. And I was speaking about that women comprise 52.2% of population in Armenia and 56 of those with higher education. Their representation in decision making the domains remains low. And while women are important actors in education and social affairs and are well represented in academia, in politics, certain barriers remain intact. For example, at local level, there are limitations in affirmative measures or engagement of political parties to advance women. Stereotypic attitudes on roles of women and men and lack of confidence among women add to barriers for women political participation. A uh, 25% quota system ensures women are represented in political parties. They face uh, distinct barriers to inheriting office at the local and national levels. And currently, the representation of women stands for less than 2% as community heads, 
around 10% as local council members, 24% uh, as national assembly members, 8% of government ministers, and 26% as deputy ministers, 0% as female governors, 18% as vice governors. So mostly from this percentage you can see um, that uh, now mostly our women are in educational field and all teachers uh, I can say that are women not male and uh, not uh, men uh, for example in my school works uh, work 45 teachers and only five of them are men and the rest are women and uh, to address the above challenges, UNDP currently implements Women in Politics project and the project contributes to the following results. Uh, strategies and recommendations are measures to improve women political participation developed based on evidence collected, leadership potential and skills of women and youth in communities of Armenia are advanced for community development and transparent and accountable governance. Role and capacities of political parties for advancing women in politics are enhanced. Active young women and men in local communities are empowered as future local leaders and as enables of local democracy. And the bodies created for assign assisting women um, the, for example, in 2000, the Women's Council, a voluntary consultative body was created under the Prime Minister of the Republic of Armenia, and however, the new Prime Minister eliminated it. In October 2002, the Committee of Trafficking in Women was established. In June 2005, the National Police created a department on the fight against human trafficking. In 2006, uh, the UNDP published a gender quality briefing brochure and the gender and change in use paper. Um, the brochure aimed at providing general information on gender and gender equality issues, national and international uh, frameworks and mechanisms protecting the promoting women's rights. And it was intended for policymakers at central and local level, civil society organizations, gender advocates, researchers, as well as for anyone seeking basic information on equal rights. And in 2004, the Institute of the Ombudsman was created, uh, which helps a lot our women uh, who are having any troubles uh, with their house uh, or with their husbands or uh, anything connected with uh, them as a human. They can consult with uh, our Ombudsman in Armenia. And I would like to finish my presentation with this wonderful quote, which I like very much, that no matter where you are in life, inspire and empower the women around you. Success is never reached alone, and wisdom and wealth are sweeter shared. So we need to treat women very well, because uh, women uh, create our future. Thank you. Uh, thanks for your great presentation, Ms. Gaili from Armenia. I would like to ask question that how your work can bring value to develop women's and children's rights. Can you please explain? Yeah. Uh, as a psychologist, I have mentioned I work at school and sometimes uh, there are students who come to consult with me, uh, for example, when they have problems with uh, their family members, especially with their parents. Um, to protect children's rights, uh, I always do consulting with parents. Uh, I uh, like invite them to an assembly. Uh, I speak with them, uh, like uh, I create a webinar for them. I introduce uh, a pro the problem, but I don't say that the problem is connected with your child. I bring the problem and try to find a solution with the parents. 
And in this way, I can say that I gain a great result because in the end, there are many parents who come to me and say, oh, thank you very much. We have found out that we don't uh, bring up our children properly. So because of your advice, now we know how to treat our children. And uh, students later come to me and say that we now feel protected in our families. Thank you. And has women rights got established in Armenia? If not, then why? Uh, I, I can say it is established in Armenia and now there are some organizations who are protecting women's rights um, and there are even hotlines. Uh, when women have any problems, uh, they can call and uh, be sure that they can find solution. Okay. Number three, how women can be empowered and who can help us? Sorry? How women can be empowered and who can help us? Question number three. Yeah. Um, I guess the society can help us. And in this way, women should be empowered. Uh, and we should give women rights uh, to be everywhere in all sphere. Because if we give them power, they will benefit and our society will benefit as well. Okay. Question number four for you, that what is your transformational strategy for the future leadership? How you want to guide our women and children to establish their rights and equality? Uh, I would like to guide, for example, students. They need to study properly their rights in order to be protected. And also women, why not? They need to know their rights in all situations uh, to deal with the rights and try to protect themselves. Okay. And uh, what is the barrier in your country for women and children's establishment of rights, equality, justice, peace and freedom? What is the main barrier according to you? Um, I can say that the barrier is that we don't give away uh, to our women. We don't give much away to them. Uh, they are not everywhere. For example, we can see women at school, but not uh, many women in politics or in other governmental spheres. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Gane, for your presentation and uh, wonderful answers. Now, can I request Dr. Shelly Bhutani to commence yes. her presentation from India and please introduce yourself. For your Thank all you information, we are all on the live session. We are streaming on live on Facebook, on YouTube, and many more other programs and also recording our session. Can we please listen from Dr. Shelly? Good evening, one and all. First of all, I'm really inspired and appreciated with this Today Leaders Vision program. I'm really empowering women and children globally. I'm really thankful and my heartful gratitude to this global foundation. I'm Dr. Shelly Bhutani from India. Since 1996, I'm into education. I'm a principal, passionate leader, and I'm author. I'm writing my own computer book since 2012. And I'm a mentor of seven schools in Delhi in CBSC. Apart from this, I'm a CBSC National Master Trainer as well as Kelo India. I'm a President Council just for a week of International Internship University too. So uh, if I talk about the value of uh, female leaders, I'm very passionate and always salute to women. Why is it so? Because I believe that female leader, they always unleash their value. And this is unstoppable because a force that changes the conversation that is always within them. And as in women, we should know the value of our own female leader and understand our own limiting beliefs and biases and how can we stand in the way of being opposite, objective. So in India, it's very, very uh, offer strengthened. And it is very based professional development plan because we are all get very serious about offering actionable strength, their professional development. Throughout 360 degree feedback, we are taking and highlight their strength that they are how they are weak in their own area. So we are setting limiting beliefs. Why we are setting in India? Because the leader should encourage those in charge of hiring 
I'm promoting their personal to let go of their limiting beliefs. So they might have about women in leadership roles too. So this can be achieved only by educating them through discussion, success stories, inspiring stories, and reading books written by successful women. This is all attending seminars and summits for women in India always build their talent in a pipeline. Why is it so? Because leaders can be deliberately about in inclusiveness by immediately identify women and children in the company because they are ready and able to fill leadership roles. So leaders can commit to increasing the number of women in the company recruiting as well as we are also take, taking their talent pipeline to levels in every area, whether it's police, whether it's education, whether it's army, whether it's navy, we are taking, we are building their talent in every pipeline. So we, what we are doing in India, we are set measurable hiring and we are giving promotional goals. Why is it so? Because this is most successful business to know that what ladies measure it, what they have to be achieved. So if they measure the rate at which women are to be promoted, so we can easily set the target goal to improve every era of women and children too. So what we are doing, we are explaining the benefits of leadership diversity. Why is it so? Because this senior leadership always showed a very strong correlation between promoting women to every area across the 215 fortune and 500 firms in the 19 year. So you won't believe it that we are holding executive presence training for the women too because if women don't have training they won't seen as credible they have to be ep training specifically designed for the women and they have different sometimes obstacles challenges but we are always overcome than men so in here we advocate for potential their female leaders which is help focus on their what can do thank you so much in the short way i present i will show the pvt presentation but in the very last because we have a shortage of time so i request yeah. that you please ask the next question so that i would be giving the ppt in the last way right okay so can i ask you a question ma'am yeah please go yeah. on ma'am ma how your work can add value to women's and children's life ma'am uh actually we promote children through their uh, webinars through their digital -like classes and we have to take daily feedback like uh, for example nowadays uh, children are not coming in the school but what we are doing in the virtually we are just giving the assembly with a peaceful atmosphere like we are just uh, giving the lightning of lamp with a peaceful aura we start with the meditation and what we are doing we are giving them happy classroom why it is called happy classroom because before starting the classroom they should talk with your own peers group they should feel comfortable that they are not on virtual even they have connected even on the virtual so this is small small things we are establishing with the children as well as with the teacher this is totally well-being of them because we believe in spirituality sometimes so we created moral value education why moral value education? Because it's necessary to give the cultures and their values through this education, through their classrooms. And we have created different, different experiential learning with them. Like we are using thematic education. What is the meaning of thematic education here? We have just started uh, national education policy in our country. And this has been come since 34 years back. So what we are doing, we are taking the examples of live projects. So in this way, children as well as teacher always collaborating between each other too. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, ma'am. Uh, may I know your view that is, has women rights got established in India? If not, yes. then why, yeah. ma'am? Yeah. Actually, we live in the world where goddess are worshipped, right? And women get damned. Sometimes harassed, sometimes abused, kidnap every single day, sometimes, right? But human rights are human rights. Why women rights are human rights? Because it's one for all. So unfortunately, many of the women, they don't have their rights. But this has been changed many years ago with Article 326 in India. That India constitution, they have permanently system with two houses. One is Lok Sabha and second is Rajya Sabha. So both feminism as initiated by the women started independently 
and they have this done by women rights and education and started will Savitri Bhale Pule because they have girls in India 1848 Tara Bhai Sinde who wrote India first feminist text and they have ground of gender equality too so women have right to equal pay women have right to dignity and decency women have right against workplace harassment in this india women have right against domestic violence too and female sexual assault victims they have a right to keep their identity anonymous and even they have a right to get free legal aid why is it so because they have so sometimes victims with the rape have the right to get free legal aid and help from the legal services authority so who has arranged a lawyer for her so women have right not to arrested at night women have right to register virtual complaints because the law given the women for the provision for filling the virtual complaint via email they have a special platform they have a special women empowerment uh, helpline too and we have a uh, in the caps we have a uh, service of uh, emergency too so that is called hso that is sent police constable to her place to record her complaint so this is the case where woman is not in the position to physically go to the police so they can file a complaint without their uh, knowing they are giving the name and phone number so women have the right against indecent representation because they have a right against their all being stopped so small small section of 354d of the ipc they makes way for the legal action to be taken against an offender so women tries to be contact her to force a personal interaction apart from uh, indication of their own interest but monitor the use by women of their own internet email and any form of electronic they are all using in the internet thank you ma'am yeah. what is the transformational strategy to establish women and children's rights if i talk about transformation basically transformational leadership is a leadership style in which leaders encourage and inspire motivate employees to innovate and create change that will help grow and shape the future success of their own company so according to me there are four factors which is transform their leadership that is idolized influence inspirational and intellectual because at individual consideration each factor should be discussed to help manager to their approach in the workplace so you can become transformational leader by following all these steps so you can start by understanding your leadership style you can encourage your creativity you can serve as a role model and you should be very passionate and you can listen and communicate effectively why is it to because a positive attitude can give you everything so whenever you are optimistic when you have attitude you can serve a source of inspiration so always encourage women to make contribution why because they always motivate your own followers so this all awareness and conversation or gender is socially a good thing but yes this is a noise masking a lack of real action and progress too but retention succession addressing the skills gap it's always a some of the ways that can challenge the status quo okay thanks can we all clap for ms dani from armenia and dr shelly from india can we all clap please give a big hand for our international thank you so people. much hero so thanks can i connect our dearest international leader miss corina is miss corina here please can i see your nice and beautiful face hello good afternoon good evening from romania i'm here of course <laughs> and uh, it's my pleasure to be with you tonight yeah can you can i request our international leader we if we call miss corina a magician it will not be really wrong you can call yeah. her a magician so <laughs> please corina i am welcoming and great honor i have no words to show respect for our international leaders you cannot believe how happy we all are to have you on this international platform so here i'm connecting corina from dhaka to romania can we hear the voice of romania miss corina presenting here our introduction and thank you thank you very much for for this development Ms. yeah corina. but uh do you know what i am a simple person do you know <laughs> so my name is corina shujda i am from uh, romania uh, for 25 years i am a primary teacher i love what i do with my students so i believe i am one of the people who 
empower children and not only children but also women because i'm working with parents of my students as well uh, beside my teaching uh, experience uh, i am involved in some organizations where uh, i uh, do different activities most of all for children and with children i'm very happy to be with you uh, today i would like to share my screen i didn't use uh, skype for a long long time i remember the first time was uh, maybe 10 12 years ago when i had activities with um, uh, international school award projects uh, okay. teachers from different countries can you see my slides yeah I yeah, guess. yeah, I yeah. Guess. it has connected so beautiful sustainable development goals please go on Ms. yes because uh, i believe uh, gender equality uh, it's about uh, sustainable development goal it's one of the uh, 17 goals of uh, uh, agenda 2030, uh, which talk about ach achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. And you may see here, I choose some pictures with students because I love students. I am a primary teacher, as I told you. What gender equality means, actually? Gender equality, it's not only a fundamental human uh, right, but a necessary foundation for a peaceful, prosperous, and sustainable world. Romania will continue to be fully committed to the protection and promotion of all women's and children's rights, and well as do uh, the implementation of legal international instruments, such as the uh, Beijing Platform for Action, the Council of Europe in Istanbul Convention of Preventing and Combating uh, Violence Against Women and, of course, Domestic Violence and the um, UNA Security Council Resolution in uh, 3025. Because uh, we pass uh, a very bad period uh, and uh, we still are in this period, in this pandemic, and uh, this was not very good for uh, women and also for children uh, most of the time because um, the pandemic has also led to a steep increase in violence against women and uh, children. With the lockdown measures in place, many women are trapped at home with their abusers, struggling to access services that are suffering from cuts and restrictions. Ending uh, all discrimination against women and children, it's not only a basic human right, it's a crucial for sustainable future in all countries. It's proof that empowering women and girls help economic growth and development. And here I uh, uh, choose a picture where you may see uh, equal uh, rights, belief, society, gender, people, men, women, equality. So uh, that's all about human rights, human uh, empowering women, equality. So gender equality, what is uh, UNICEF doing to promote gender equality, not only in Romania, but uh, in many countries? Reducing inequality strengthens economies and builds stable, resilient societies that give all individuals, including boys and men, the opportunity to fulfill uh, their potential. UNICEF builds partnerships across the globe, global community to accelerate uh, gender equality. In all areas of our work, we integrate um, gender specific, specific discrimination and uh, disadvantages. You may see here Melinda Gates, who said, a woman with a voice is, by definition, a strong woman. And I totally agree with Melinda Gates. So, of course, uh, you United Nations uh, think this means partnering with the national health sectors to expand quality maternal care for support the professionalization of the mostly female frontline community health workforce. And uh, it means working with the education sector to ensure girls and boys 
uh, thrive in their learning and um, find pathways to meaningful uh, employment. For adolescent girls, especially, UNICEF invests in skills uh, building to further their economic empowerment as entrepreneurs, innovators, and leaders. Because, yes, um, Dr. Shelley was talking about uh, leadership. We focus yes. on providing learning environments at a time and place the, those sweet girls' individual circumstances. What exactly mean to support a woman or a girl? Supporting girls pathway from education to employment require more than learning opportunities. It requires keeping girls safe from all forms of violence in and out, out of school. Our targeted initiative the, uh, to prevent the response to gender-based violence, help and child marriage, eliminate female genital mutilation, provide safe spaces, support menstrual health management, deliver uh, HIV and uh, AIDS care, meet uh, 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 psychological needs and more. We invest in innovative models that protect even the hardest to reach girls, like virtual safe spaces and apps that allow them to report violence and connect to local resources for support. This is happened also in my, in my country. I will tell you about uh, Romania a little bit later. I choose some, uh, some uh, woman like uh, Maya Yosupsai. I think all of you knows her. And he, uh, she said, I, ri I raise uh, up my voice, not so I can uh, shoot, but so that those without a voice can be heard. We cannot succeed when half of us are held back. And also uh, Sushama Swaraj, I think so. There is uh, an urgent need to tackle the ills of the society against women through active participation of all men, women, society, governments. It is imperative to make women empowerment a, uh, a people movement. And of course, uh, Michelle Obama with uh, final uh, thoughts. Empowering women start with you. Yes, with you, with me, and with, uh, with all of us. Show your support to the women around you by showing them their mother and reminding them of their strength. Changing the narrative for women and seeing real change is a team effort. So share this list with the women in your life and encourage them to take action. That was uh, all about uh, empowering women and not only. Thank you. Okay, thanks. So can I go for the quick question and answer session? Are you ready, Ms. Karina? Yes, yes, sure. Okay, so my first question is how your work can really add great value to develop the rights of women and children in Romania and the global noble mission, Ms. Karina. How am I? Sorry, how you work? How you can add value to develop oh, our rights, okay. our mission, just yeah. to establish our equality. Okay, I get you. Um, first of all, I am a woman as well. The second point is uh, I am a teacher and I am working with uh, students and not only with students, but with their uh, parents as well. In my opinion, to empower uh, women and children is to make them to be confident to give them uh, uh, encouragement, to um, uh, believe in them, to give them credits and to make them to go on. This is very, very important uh, as a teacher, but not only because every, every woman in this world should be, um, how to say, empowered, should be um, 
uh, should believe she is very good. She is very good. And uh, as long as you believe in yourself, you can do everything. Never stop. Go away. Okay. Thanks. So my next question to you that I want to know and we all want to know has women rights already got established in Romania? If not, then why it has not been established? Can you please explain, dear Corina? Yes, uh, of course, they got established, but not totally. Uh, we live in Europe, so uh, here uh, human rights, uh, it's very important. We have uh, rules, we have laws for this. But uh, as you know, everywhere in this uh, world, uh, it's not totally established. Uh, do you know why? Because of mentality of people. Mentality of the men who, who believe a woman can do what a man do. It's not true. It's not true. Believe in yourself and try to do, and you will see how good you are. Okay. Uh, my third question to you is, can you please uh, guide us about the transformational value that how women's rights and children's rights can be established and we can achieve equality? Miss Corina. Yes, as uh, Miss Shelley said, First of all, you have to know your rights. If you uh, know your rights and uh, you believe you are right and you, uh, this is your right to, to do that thing, you can do. But as long as you are, how to say, uh, under a man or under uh, not only a man, but uh, for example, in school, some uh, colleagues may be more uh, selfish and they make you feel like you are. Um, not very good. Don't let you influence it by others. Believe in yourself and uh, try to do what is in uh, uh, your mind. Work hard for, for your dreams and you will achieve everything you, you, you wish in this world. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for a great, great presentation. Can we request all of our international heroes to give a great round of applause for Miss Corina, Dr. Shelley, and our Gayane from Armenia, India. Can we all give a clap, please? Salute you. Our Thank you very much. Miss Corina, it was my dream to hear from you. And uh, we all know you. You are our international hero, the leader, the voice of Romania, the role model of every woman and girl child should as be you are as well i am not with with anything better than you believe in yourself it's a, uh, exactly what i said before never think others are better than you you are better as you are you are the best believe too this far. too far i am really very lucky to have you all now this is the time to connect sweden can we connect our dreamland sweden Miss Katarina from Sweden is here to raise her voice and to help us to establish women's and children's rights. Can we please listen from Katarina from Sweden? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. We can hear you. We can see you very clearly. You can introduce yourself and share your presentation, ma'am. Yeah, yes, uh, Monira, can you share my presentation? Because I cannot do it because of this computer. That's why I send it to you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to share. Can you please uh, requesting your uh, introductory part, ma'am? You, you have my presentation already because it's something wrong with my computer. Okay, I was introduce yourself what yes. you are doing okay i will do that um well i am going to go back to work as a high school teacher from middle of august as a teach a high school teacher in social science history and law i have also another university degree. i am a master of science in quality and quality management and leadership development i am a supervisor, certified supervisor of understanding group and leader from the National Swedish National Defense University. I am also an SGI supervisor. And uh, I am uh, 
I also have a Bachelor of Political Science, Economics and Law, and also another one in History and Behavioral Sciences. Um, I am also a graduated high school teacher. So, and another thing also, and, uh, but it's not what I'm going to talk about. So, uh, is the screen so visible you to you? To if you go to the third picture. A presentation is visible to you all. Can you see the presentation? No, no, for a moment, no. But I maybe connected. If, if you change it to... Yes, uh, yeah, I'm able to see. Can you see? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Okay, so Katrina, can you please go on that you have written on the first slide to establish women's and children's rights. So I'm going on the second slide. Is it okay? Yes, and you, yes, you can go to the second slide. It's, a, it's about yeah, me. It is here. It is about you, I think. Yes. And what I told you already, I also taught organizations and leadership. I have been working with the with this, um, uh, the call it. it is uh, associations for academic people. I have been negotiation at the Swedish Armed Forces at the highest levels before when I was working there for 17 and a half years. And I am a consultant and coach and trainer in leadership, organizational development, business development, improvement management, conflict management, and of course, health. So I help leaders and I help other ones to feel better and become more efficient. So if you take the third slide, please. Yes, the third slide so is here. the question about share your opinion, what changes you want to bring at present and how. So I don't know if you get the, the third slide. Yeah, the third slide is here, ma'am. Okay. I cannot see it. Okay, third slide here is read and share your opinion that changes, what changes you want to bring at present and how. Yes, because I cannot see it, but maybe other ones can see it. Yeah, we can so, see uh, it. So my, I have reflected on it for a while and if you go to the, the next, yeah. key, next slide, please. Yeah, yeah, I have got all the ant, ant the ant, yes. I think it's very important is that we work with the application, like pivot. So, for example, like I was thinking about here, is that see yourself as, as a kind of ant. You can do a lot of things by yourself, but oh, it's coming. If you can duplicate it, working like the cascade effect, working together, like one ant can do a little bit, but billions of ants can do a lot of things. Okay. I see a message that the people can't see the presentations now, Monera. Yeah. So, ma'am, here it is written, has women's rights got established in your country? If not, then why? The slide is here. Yes, but people can't see it. You have to share your screen again. Is it not visible to all of no. you? No, it's not visible. Sorry, yeah, but it's not visible. I'm connecting again the slide. Uh, sharing the screen. Yeah, can you please share it now? It's still black. No, no, it's coming. No, it's coming. Uh, but you have to go go back to the, 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 the slide yes. before. This one? Yes, we can take that one. Because the, the one before that is a lot of ants when you have this cascade effects or you duplicate it or like pivot. Like if you are like a million of ants, we can move a house, for example, but one uh, ant and ant can't do it by them itself. So here, what I was thinking is, is that is that we can do a lot of miracles together. 
and when you when I use this uh, pivot to our capture uh, detection application. So to go to the next slide. This one? Let's go to the next one, please. Yeah, this is the one next slide. Is it visible to you? No, take slide seven, please. Is it visible, ma'am? No, that is number six. Uh, you have to take the next one. It is missing. No, no, it can. No, no, you have, you have got it. Um, and about the question about how has women rights got established in your country? Yes, we have. First time women were able to go to polling station in Sweden, most in the election year 1921. It's already 100 years ago during this autumn. And how to get more women getting in, in uh, like to get better job and everything? It became with the compulsory school in Sweden for all children, and it was already 1842. Okay, it was just for a couple of years. Uh, maybe in the autumn they have to go stay at home to pick up the potatoes, like a potato vacation or something we call it, and other things. But kids went to school. They, they learned to read and to count and things like that. And then they have built up to much more years, but from the beginning it was a couple of years. And in 1873, women were finally allowed to study at universities. And 1927, women were given the right to study in high schools and become eligible for higher education on the same terms as male. And today, it is very interesting. Women, <laughs> I'm sorry or in the majority as students in at universities in Sweden, but men still get most of the manage, managerial work. And nowadays men say that, but we are a minority at the university, university at some of the programs. So we have to change it, they say, because they feel sad in a bad situation. Yes, but female students get higher diplomas, the higher examinations in schools, like for in high school or upper secondary school, what you call it, than guys okay. nowadays. And that is, they, they, the men think it's a problem. Okay, so next slide. This is yes, the And how women can be empowered and who can help us. And I go back to the right to education for all children. I think it's still prior one. It is the first way to another and better life. If you can read and work and get your own income, it is much better for you. And in Sweden, married women got major already in 1921. And unmarried women who were 25 years old or older got major already in 1863. And 1874, married women's right to individual pay and finances. And 1872, arranged marriages are prohibited and both sexes are guaranteed the right to choose a marriage partner. But I know and we see in Sweden that immigrants coming in and they still using this system, but it is forbidden in Sweden. Okay. And then you can have like your families going to uh, the former countries they're coming from like 12, 14 year old uh, female child got married in that country and moved back to Sweden with the men who are like 30, 35 years old. And that is not not uh, permitted in Sweden, but uh, it's still problem with getting it to court and fix it. Yeah? And nowadays you can say this kind of a phone line that uh, when people are thinking about children going to get uh, uh, child uh, marriage abroad, they can call the police and things like that and hopefully get uh, help so that not to be in that situation. And wife abuses was banned already 1864, but like I have written, but unfortunately it still occurs and especially during this COVID-19. We have seen more and more about it and also about uh, women 
they care, the men care the women, and but I have had it, and we still are in progress about the courts and yards and how to fix it, deal with these situations, and also like kids seeing when uh, the father killed their mom in front of their eyes, and then he go to court and they go to prison, and then he has the, the right of the children still. Um, that is also something is going maybe to change, be changed in the law that he will not be able to have it, but it's not fixed yet. And about this, about the Swedish system, because a lot of people, a lot of countries are very rich and the Sweden are helping many, many countries and go on. Yes, but think about what I have been written down here. Between 1851 to 1910, about 1 million Swedes migrated to the US and the Swedish population was about 3.5 million year 1850. So that is also one of the big things which helped Sweden up because Sweden was very poor. Sweden were suffering. And there was a lot of, there was, it was not food, it was not work, it was anything. So both this with the school from 1842 and yeah. a lot of integrated people, it's two of the big successes in Sweden. So next slide, please. Yeah. yeah. And it's about what's your transformational strategy for future leadership. Yeah. How you want to guide our women and children to establish their right and equality. Let's see if I... Can you see? Okay. Please, next slide. Two slides. It's, in, it's number nine I we are going to. Is it the one? No, next one, please. This one? N number nine. It is the next one. Number nine. Is uh, one? No, I think you are on. Uh, here it is showing nine. Okay. This is okay. the last one. That's nine. What is the one? Uh, the transformation as such as I say for women what I can do to help people it is what I have been thinking for a long time it is since last year I am writing on a book about 300 pages and it I thought it was going to be launched just now but it will be launched in the end of August beginning of September I think it's a it's a book about quality management leadership and health it is about sustainable leadership and the ebook will be very cheap when I launch it. So it, I think it will be like one dollar, one US dollar. So everybody who wants to buy it, well, like 300 pages with about a lot of searches from universities and things in it. And also how to work as a leader, how to protect yourself so you don't get mentally like, exhausted, things like that. But I also have my Facebook community about sustainable leadership and good health. Um, members who have been part of it and have done what I have said in that one since last year, they have got coached for more than ten thousand dollars for free if they have followed it. And for okay. children, for example, we have this Convention of the Right of the Child from 1989. We have two optional protocols. We have the articles that a child is every person under the age of 18. It's very important. And for example, also articles 28-29 that the child is entitled to free primary school education. And that education should prepare the child for life, develop respect for human rights and nurtures in the spirit of understanding, peace, tolerance and friendship. <laughs> and also I can think about today how to get children to the primary elementary school. And uh, please, next slide. Yeah, this is the next slide, ma'am. Women, children, what is our transformation? Yes, but, yes, but you have another one. You have a uh, slide this 10. One? And uh, is this the one, ma'am? Okay, okay. You have another one, 11. <laughs> and that is also what I was thinking about. We have to support each other like men do and that is free for everybody to do that 
We cannot tip each other women about things and jobs or whatever, like men do. It's also free. We can bring forward female candidates for job, for authorities, for politicals or whatever, like men do. It's also free. And we can also help each other against like sexual harassment. It's free. And I also sent you a link here from one of the biggest newspapers in Sweden. It is uh, from the Me Too in the Swedish Armed Forces. It was uh, 1,768 women who are working in the military who wrote on it. I was one of them. Okay. And for children, we have we can build online courses about almost everything. That is also an option. And like we have internet in almost everywhere, so. Kids can be in a kind of classroom for kids in the village and radio communication internet. If the teacher every day, week or month, like they have done in Australia for many, many years, the, the kids are sitting out in the bushes where they're living and they have the school there. Okay. And if we take next slide, number 12. This one? Yes. No. How about this one? Uh, next. Is this the one? Uh, no, this it's the one with a picture of children also. This one. <laughs> it's the next. You have a picture with children down in the now no, the one before that that one, yeah, please. And also more proposed solutions. For example, women. We can find easy, fast, and free solution. We have to be creative and get solutions and we can have each other to think about it, talking to each other, chat with each other. I have one, one uh, for example, one idea, talk to other ones about it and things like that. And also another thing here, I don't know if you want to not hear this, but birth control. Women do not get so many children. It's also, it is for the bodies and that is also one like when when women start get educated, they get less children. I feel not some because and it not it's the same like before. Like a lot of children was going to take care of you when you get older, and like on this on the uh, right side here, children about that education for children is one of the main responsibilities for governments around the world. <laughs> And also, this is also for people and members of the UN. And education is the main task and goal for everybody to get to work and be able to support themselves and their families in the future. Okay. And I want, if you change to the last picture, I will say something more also that yes. I can add. And that we have already talked about UN Sustainable Development Goals. And that, that's why also I didn't want to talk about it today because I thought somebody else was going to do it and we have had it. But about what everybody don't want or needs to hear, but have, like, before, even in Sweden, having a lot of children was a status for the families. Today we have eradicated many diseases. And therefore, we don't need the families to give birth as too many yeah. children as before. And this is also a matter for a whole global society. Because the UN can help people to fix this with birth controls in the families. It yeah. So many moms die in the childbirth, which make more orphans. And another question is to get, how to get rid of the corruption. Which we have in a lot of countries more corruption in some countries. We also have corruption in Sweden. It takes the money which should hardly go to support children education or other privileged families, for example. And there is also another issues we haven't talked about here. We talk about children, we talk about women, but I just want to say something more. We haven't talked about, we haven't reached, um, that is what I was discussing with one of my friends two days ago. Mentally handicapped children are, are even more vulnerable and we have seen like um, pedophiles and other ones going on 
children, but mentally handicapped children are even more standard than the other one. So we can have to think about how can we support them all. Okay. Uh, my last slide. This is finished. Yeah, no, you had another one. That one with the blue thing in the bottom. After one with the children. This is finished. No, no, you yeah. have another one. <laughs> you see in the bottom you have something blue. Blue, then more proposal and solution, women and children. Now, now the, the last picture, a slide or number 13, you see it in the bottom in the left corner. Uh, 13 is blue one. Uh, that, there it is, yes. And that is what I was thinking about this picture. Look in, look in your in yourself, reflect on yourself, and think about and go out to talk to people and have this duplication, this pivot, and together we can do a lot of things. Okay. That was my solution. The the ends and um, how to work together and how can we go on. I think we have to build more and more networks helping each other and also we have another group we, we are usually missing. We have the men. Women are about 50%, but we also have men. And there are a lot of men who want to support women in this issue, kind of issues. But some men have struggling with the culture in the countries and uh, in their organizations, their social clubs and each other. But we have to change it. We have to change the mental focus or maybe we have to say it and use them also because we have to work together okay thanks a lot thanks. thanks a lot thanks a ton so can we all give a great great round of applause for miss katarina from sweden can we all please clap for her thanks a lot Thanks for joining and great, great presentation and sharing from Sweden. So now, can I connect Elif from Turkey? Elif, can we have your introduction? Vilma, please don't get angry because we're gonna listen your music and many things from Brazil. But now I would like to connect Turkey, the beautiful city, the beautiful lady, the beautiful teacher is here, educator and the inspirational Leader Miss Elif, can we hear please your introduction uh, and presentation? Elif, can you connect? Uh, best wishes and regards from Turkey. Um, but um, I have no idea about sc sc Skype program because I use <laughs> always um, Zoom. And uh, is it visible? <laughs> uh, I will share my screen. Um, yeah, uh, it, has, it is coming. I hope uh, I will uh, success. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are. Miracle making. Please go uh, on, Elif. Okay. Uh, I think I can't uh, share my screen. Uh, would you like to help me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Please introduct uh, introductory part. Can you please share your introduction, dear? Okay. Uh, uh, I'm Elif Selçuk. I am from Turkey. I live in Denizli. Uh, I'm a religion teacher. Uh, I have uh, been uh, a uh, religion teacher about uh, 16 years and also I'm uh, the founder the value of women and gender equality in 21st century activism project uh, like this <laughs> okay so is your share screen is sh uh, visible now uh, okay can you see uh, no, I can't see uh, my screen. This one? Uh, this one? Uh, do you see my uh, screen? Yes, yes. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Um, women's rights are a vital issue. Mankind has worked in many fields such as technology, artificial intelligence, medicine, saving exploration, uh, which calls to space. Women contribute to, to the organization of these studies in terms of uh, agenda. Women uh, are no different from men. Women uh, manage countries, institu institutions and organizations, companies. Although we have uh, completed one uh, fifth of the 20 first century, unfortunately, women are still exposed to violence uh, and even killed. We are still talking about these issues. Of course, it's very sad to make this sentence because this is also in, in the uh, cater of imagery. We define civilization, but uh, we fail to be civilized. Uh, it is a duty to care about an ongoing struggle for women's social, political and economic rights and to take action. We should never forget this. Today, uh, women's rights have made progress in many developed countries, yes. but unfortunately, women's rights in developed and developing countries haven't reached the desired levels and women have not fully achieved their rights. In Turkey, our great leader Mustafa Kemal Atatürk did some work to uh, empower girls and women. Uh, that's why we are, we are proud of Atatürk. Uh, oh. Um, in 1924, with the law of the Tefidi Tedrisat, gender discrimination in education was uh, abolished and everyone had equal rights. In 1933, uh, the uh, uh, direct uh, ter uh, ter of technical education for girls was uh, established for girls to receive vocational education. Uh, he, he gave us uh, the Turkish uh, Civil Code in 1926. This law is Turkey's the largest and one of its forms. Uh, it's important in terms of family law and women's attainment of their rights. Thus, men and women met at the same point. In 1930, women gained the right to vote and elected uh, in uh, municipalities. In 1938, uh, uh, they abolished uh, the right to elect to be elected uh, deputies in the parliament. Uh, the working conditions of women uh, were improved uh, with a, a labor law in 1936 and the ELO convention in 1937 prohibited uh, women from working in hard work. These works that I have mentioned have been an important turning point in the empowerment of women and girls and their uh, activation of rights. Uh, the UNE Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Violence Against Women was signed in 1979. As a country, we have been included in this uh, contract and made it a part of our domestic law. Uh, this contract has been a breaking point in many countries. Uh, women uh, began to uh, accrue, uh, accrue rights. In our country in uh, 1990, women gained 
uh, the right not to take permission from their husbands to work. In 1901, uh, the close family is the foundation of Turkish society was added, followed by the close based on equality between supposes. Um, uh, marriage chances uh, regimes have changed. The woman was given the right to uh, participate in uh, a church groups. Although there are good developments in our country, there are still definitions and grievances. Evet, yes. Uh, important topic is in our country, women's surname. The woman has to take the husband's last name, but Hello? Can you hear? Elif, uh, maybe your connection has got disconnected or something. So, is there Vilma with us? From Brazil. Uh, I think uh, I interrupt. <laughs> Elif, can you can you listen? Uh, yes, uh, I interrupt. I think, sorry, and sorry, uh, again sorry. I connected. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, the slide was number five for you that the woman has got the last name of uh, of her husband. Okay. okay. Um. Um. Uh, the important issue uh, in our country is women's surname. Uh, the woman uh, has to take the husband's last name, but if she wishes, she can combine uh, her husband's surname and surname before marriage can use if a woman applies to the court in the will, in the will, uh, in the will to, uh, I can't, uh, pronounced <laughs> when she gets married uh, she can use her own surname but unfortunately social uh, pressures prevent the exercise of this right when a woman gets married and uh, divorced she has to constantly update her identity the woman has to announce uh, to all institutions uh, that she's getting married or divorced. For example, passport, bank accounts, at academics may have to use different surnames. In some uh, cases, a woman may continue to use her husband's surname after divorce. For example, if a woman is known uh, by her husband's surname in business life. She can use her husband's surveys if um, it is important for her career, but the woman has to uh, prove in court that she will uh, not harm her ex-husband. Uh, the other issue is violence. The pandemic has uh, increased uh, domestic uh, violence. Uh, now uh, I want to uh, give some um, examples from other countries. A domestic violence increased in Italy and Fr France during the epidemic. Some hotels provided shelter services for women. In Spain, when women call the pharmacy and request uh, mask. Uh, 19 from the officer, it means a domestic violence notification. This situation is reported to police by pharmacy staff. The Federation of Women's Associations of Turkey reported that during the epidemic, physical violence against women increased by 18% uh, of psychological violence increased by 93% and demand for shelters increased um, 78%. Uh, 
uh, like this. Uh, uh, violence uh, stems from inequality between men and women. Gaps in laws and uh, practices cause violence. Unfortunately, the domestic violence has increased. We need to prevent uh, domestic violence. Children witness violence in the home. Later, children are affected psychologically and they can take the family as a role model from uh, time to time. The children may use violence against uh, to uh, peers at school or in the game um, um, in uh, other people, considering that the uh, perpetrator is strong. Serious measures must be taken to prevent violence. I would like to make some suggestions here. Uh, gender equality in school should be uh, integrated into the uh, 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 um, curriculum and student clubs should be opened to carry our activities and projects. If we can't prevent violence, there should be sanctions that protect the victims of violence and support policies should be implemented. This is the woman uh, by uh, strengthened. Uh, women should know and use their rights and um, social units should uh, provide professional support and um, guidance to women. Conditions of women's shelters should be improved. We should support every person who is a victim of violence. Zero tolerance to violence should be our motto. We should develop international policies to encourage uh, other countries to act by giving ideas on what they should do. Uh, and to encourage political will. I will invite um, now uh, world leaders, all situations and organizations and civil society to sensitivity, cooperation and coordination because laws uh, may not completely end violence. While you link and uh, interact investing in people will solve these uh, problems. Um, now I would like to talk ab about uh, my project, the value of women and gender equality in twinning projects. Um, we included uh, women's rights in the third step of our project. We did a lot of uh, research with students and prepared materials. We uh, researched women's rights around the world. Now we would like to share our awareness with you, with you. Okay. Um, now uh, I will share a uh, link of that? video. Okay. Um, uh, but uh, I know how to uh, will I share uh, the link? Uh, would you like to help me, dear Morina? Yeah, which one? E-twinning? E-twinning project? Yeah, yes. Uh, our awareness uh, video. Yeah, yeah. This one. This slide is here. You can see all. All okay. uh, our international leaders. Can you see the link? Uh, just a minute. Um, Twinning project, right? 21st century. Yes. Um, would you like to help me uh, to share the link, uh, please? Yes, I have clicked it here. Uh -huh. uh, I uh, think uh, I sent uh, you to um, think. I have clicked it here, but the link is not opening. I don't know why. 
Okay, so uh, dearest leader, this is time to connect Rajil now. Can I connect our dearest, another internationally important guest, Ms. Vilma? Can you hear me? Yes, dear. Yeah, dearest, can you please share about your information, your song and the way how you have regained the value, how you have became the person always you wanted to be? Well, I'm Vilma from Brazil. I'm an English teacher here and I've been teaching English for 16 years more or less. And I've been teaching kids, teens and adults. And I've been working with lots of international pro projects and organizations because I want my students learn to communicate with the world. I want they um, understand they are able to communicate. I want that they understand they, can, they have to believe in themselves and they can communicate, they can learn English for life to understand uh, people around the world. Okay. Yes. So there is one request from Divyani. Can you please connect your presentation? Vilma, I have one request and Katarina from Sweden. And I can see Elif is here, Gayani is here. So I will all request you. Om Prakash is here. So you be the judge now. Divyani, the future leader, she wants to present her presentation as a future leader, as a researcher. After her presentation, I will connect Vilma to sing her song, to share her great song, please. Divyani, can you connect your presentation? Uh, yes, just a second. Yeah, so I would like to request you your attention. Om Prakash, can you please introduce yourself by this time? Hello? You yes. listening me? You listening me? Yeah, yeah. Can you please just uh, say your name and from where you have connected? Good. Hello. Good evening, everyone. According to India and Assalamu alaikum and Eid Mubarak. I especially thanks to Monira Sultana. Uh, it's me, Dr. Om Prakash from India. I presently working with my NGO. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank Diviani, requesting you kindly present your presentation and share. Uh, do you can see the screen? Yeah, we can all see your presentation. Please share your introduction and go for the presentation. Okay, so my name is uh, Diviani Arjun Singh. I am from Mumbai, India. I am studying class 10th. Uh, as a student, as a young, uh, as a young girl, I know what is the situation of my country and also about the other countries. I know that. So, uh, as a student, I don't know much about what is going around the world. Means like what is going in the office, what is the internal information. I don't know. But what I am listening, what I am listening from my parents, what I am listening from the net, you can see what I am uh, going. Uh, I am going through all the surrounding I'm knowing. So according to that facts or according to the research, what I have done from uh, some days. Uh, no. So I, I have got some information. I want to share uh, that. Can I share? Yeah, please, please. So today topic is women's rights and children's and uh, women's and children's rights and their justice in their own life, we can say. So uh, as we all know that uh, if uh, I want to give an example that if two person like a husband or a wife you know, go on the job, do do job and they come back home, they are too tired. But the wife only go in the kitchen and cook the food. Why? This is also the one kind of injustice we can say because the wife is also too tired. But uh, the only thing we can see is, uh, do you can see my PPT? Yeah was connecting. Uh, can you please connect again? It has lost the connection. Okay. I think. Okay, not an issue. Now you can see. Uh, 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 I think it's coming. I request all of our international heroes and leaders. Yeah, I can see your PPT to judge the presentation that Ms. Divani is presenting now. Divani, go on, please. 
Okay, so what I am telling that why only the wife is cooking in the kitchen? Ah, uh, it's not that the only the women's have to work in the kitchen and the men's have to work in the office. It is not like that. So the only discrimination ah uh, I can say start is from the house itself because as a girl I know what is what is the importance of a girl's in her own life because ah uh, many times it's happened that the uh, women the girls girls have to sacrifice their own ah uh, means uh, dreams for others. We can see. for the family but i totally uh, don't agree that uh, never compromise with your dreams because uh, dreams you see for yourself not for your family because if you will stand on your dreams if you will move uh, 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 move forward with your dreams then only you can achieve something and that time your family will tell yes you have done something for yourself and that time the world will also stand with you so the first things i can say that stand with your dreams stand with yourself another uh, as i have done uh, some research i have told that on in some days so i have not got got um, about uh, information about many countries but i have got information about some countries like especially india i have got the newspaper cuttings we can see or about nigeria some countries i have got so here we can see uh, delhi is the capital of india but we can see their uh, crime rate is too much high um but i uh, i don't say that you uh, know that india is not developed totally yes it is developed but the crime rate is also developing day by day we can see a uh, uh, moving bus uh, buses are moving but also there are gang rape crimes are uh, happening there uh, there are injustice and any other big cities there are injustice so i as a student i want to ask everybody that where a student like we can see that in a schools also um, the small children are raped or bullied so uh, as everyone said that uh, how you can uh, generate uh, your future so uh, especially the answer i can hear is that we can um, make our children understand that what is the importance of a women in their life so i want to ask if you want to make your children understand what is the importance of a uh, women in their life the first thing is that the children are uh, unsafe at the schools itself because if the, if we want to make them understand what is the importance of what is the value what is the justice the first things we have to uh, see that the children should be safe at this uh, schools level because we can see the children adapt the information very fast Uh, by listening news or by um, uh, be, nowadays we can see our small children are also having a phones and all so uh, they are misuse also but they are using some children are using too so you know uh, they, the first things we have to do that we have to make our country free from a child labor or we can free from a child uh, child uh, harassment we have to make because uh, the future of our country of future of any country i can say future of the world is the children itself so first thing i'm not uh, talking about that the discrimination of a man or women i'm talking uh, talking about the uh, children because children are uh, their mind are too um, we can say they are minded like a butter if you want to mold uh, how much you want to mold you can convert in that shape that shape so you, we have to first see that what we if we will give the good information if we, the children will live in the good surrounding they will automatically they, their mind will be like uh, intelligent they will be fulfilled with the positive things but they will listen that uh, uh, rape cases in the schools or they will listen what is there then their mind will be also like that so another is uh, another uh, it is from uh, nigeria straight it is uh, one cuttings i have got there also a uh, uh, rape cases was happened to a 12 years old girls so i again i am telling that it is happening in the school itself then where the children will learn about to respect the women because they are uh, getting there uh, they are only seeing themselves uh, in the school itself they are seeing that they are uh, covered with something they are uh, in living in a uh, yes i am not uh, saying just uh, that all schools are a same or all place are a bad itself but we can see if thousand of also apples are there and one is one apple is also spoils it will spoil the thousand apple so like that also if the one person one negativity will be that it will spoil the thousand positivity too so we have to make that one negativity first out so the thousand uh, positivity should be there another we can see it, uh, it is also you means, means your uh, slide has been freezed can you please uh, make it uh, full screen please The 
Yeah, it is visible now. Uh, just now? Yeah, yeah, it is visible. Okay. So uh, again, when uh, cutting scenes, there are the thousands of children are at uh, risk of abuse. So as a student, as a teenager, or as a um, means uh, as a future leader, you can say that uh, my first advice is to first protect the children because they are itself the um, means we can say future of the country. Another is uh, no, we can say acid attacks. That is more what we can see uh, acid attack. Mainly it is a higher risk because it is spoils mainly a total life of a girls. Because we can see if a one uh, one also we if you walk in the kitchen, especially we know what is the we can uh, burn small burn is also there. We feel uh, so much pain. So what the pain might be that the uh, girl or the women face after the acid attack. That is a two risks we can say many person died also due to this but many persons fight back and came back and fight for their justice so i can say is uh, only the government is not there to give you a justice or uh, only the you can uh, not say that that the government should come and a uh, legal action should be taken the first thing you can stand for yourself because every mm -hmm. times the government will not go to each and every house and ask that uh, your daughter is uh, okay or your wife is okay your son is okay no this is not the work of a government I agree that uh, government should provide some illegal action, but not totally. First, we can say that the women should stand for themselves because the first step we can say when we are small, the mothers taught us the how to walk or how to stand first. Uh, first steps um, our mother taught us. Then again, uh, automatically we are learning that how to run. Uh, running, someone don't taught us. The same thing that someone will um, some helps. They can provide by the government, but the standing should be taken by yourself. Another, another is who is there to help us? The mainly question I can uh, always I can see or okay. always I can uh, make the screen full. We can see I, only the one screen, the guardian, the guardian paper. Just a second, I don't know yeah, what yeah. is wrong. Who is who is who is there to help? It is visible now. Now it is visible. Yeah. OK, just a second. So I uh, can I show like this only because uh, I, I think that uh, in full slides it is not visible. OK, yeah, it is visible now. Uh, because uh, showing more important my point of view should be there. I think so the thing is that who is there to help us? So the main things what I can hear from all the people is who is there to help us. So let me clear. No one is there to help you. The first thing is that you are only there to help you. First stand, first step, first goals. Yours should be clear. Then only the other will come to help you. Another slide is women are not safe. Women are not enemy. Women, women does not want others right. They just fight for their own right. It is true because uh, we see our mothers, we see our uh, sisters, we see the world itself because uh, we are not going in someone's house and we are fighting that. No, uh, she is getting this. I also want this. We are not uh, fighting for that. We are just fighting for our own right, what we need. We are fighting. We want to work. We are fighting. We want to educate. We are fighting. Uh, we want equal uh, rights. We are not fighting with others that uh, we want what you are having. So that is the big things that the people when we fight for the rights was the question is, you know, the they told that uh, you are comparing. We are not comparing. We are just asking for our own rights. Uh, this is the same that we have to stand for ourselves because tomorrow no one will be there to stand for ourselves. You know, the world only recognize those who fight for themselves. You, you know, the person will never see what what is the failure the, or the person will never see what is the what you are fighting for. The, they only see what is the success you are getting, how much post you are. They, they will, you know, always they respect the person who are at the higher post. You go at the office itself and you respect your boss, but you never see that the boss will come to you and respect the employees. So that is the main difference that the person always respect those who are at a higher post. So we don't want the higher post. We are just fighting for the respect in the society. We are not saying that we are uh, we uh, want that the boss should respect it, but we want this our self respect should not uh, hurt by someone. Another is after all years as a women's hearing, we are not you are not thin enough. You are not pretty enough. You are not smart enough. You are not 
this enough you are not that enough then over the night i woke up one day i thought why people says i am not enough then i realized that i am enough and i don't really bother now about the people you know when you will understand what you are then you will understand that people thinking or people saying is just for wasters of time when you will listen to others when you listen others talk what they are talking when we'll go to others and uh, listen oh they are back biting you about me they are telling bad about me if you bother in that then you can't be never success because we always know that people always back behind us but we have to move forward we don't have to see the past we have to see the future another is the only person who can stop to reach your goal is only you so don't stop yourself i i really again told you that uh, goals are the main things in our future because our goals only decide our future our goals should be clear what do you want to become uh, when we are uh, strong we see that the women are getting married and they left their own house and they are going to some boys house we can say then um, she is uh, living uh, with her child and all see so in some time the women uh, left their dreams and they are just working for their family so after after many years what they are going to hear uh, get to hear is that what you did for our family the main uh, i have uh, the main question they are hearing that i am working i am earning money what you are doing you are just wasting the money was you are sitting at home so that is the big question if you will not stand for yourself it will, if your goals will be not clear then people is not going to respect you if you don't uh, stand on your feet for yourself then the people is not going to respect you you know and everything from the beginning itself from the childhood itself or from the past itself women have to fight for their right uh, you don't uh, see that women are getting automatically their rights uh, if your mother don't fight your right uh, that the children see the same things and sometimes what happen the children learn from the mother itself that no my mother don't fight for their her rights i will fight for my mother right too and i will fight for my own right too but sometimes what it affect a bad impact also the children see that the mother is uh, um, the father is beating a mother or someone is uh, you know, commenting and she don't reply back then the children is feeling oh my mother don't reply how can i reply to others how can i face problems or the mother don't reply then the surrounding something happen also she is not going to tell her father because her father don't respect her mother how he will listen to her that is the main thing so first thing uh, if you will stand or if your mother will stand for yourself then only the world will stand for you and please uh, it is a humble request that uh, uh, many times happens that there is a we can see or uh, rape cases or embarrassment or uh, anything happens in the school that uh, a teacher uh, bad touches we can see or we can listen that so it is my humble request please don't hide it please share with your parents or your teachers because your teacher are there to guide you your teacher are always there to uh, understand you your teacher are always there to um, um, pull you out from the bad way or your parents are there okay you don't uh, sometimes you don't feel that uh, i should tell my parents then go and tell to your friends your uh, teachers or your uh, means uh, some relatives someone is there or uh, many times happens that it causes into ba- um, big impact like uh, rape cases we can say then you can go to ngos you can complain because you know if you will not complain what happen the other that man uh, encouragement will be more that oh i then did uh, this with this girl they have seen never complain then why uh, what will others do so due to your mistakes no others are have to also uh, suffer from the same things so you have to complain another this is um, one third what i have written because i feel it really what uh, it is a true lines like people always talk about you behind without knowing the facts so take their words as challenge and give their words back with a great success because when you will give their words back with great success their mouth will be shut and they will not speak against the women they will not say that, that the women are the weakest they will not say that the women are not doing anything and they will not speak in front of their wife that what you are doing at home if she will do something if she will uh, work and if she will earn something if she will stand on her feet then the husband can't uh, talk in front of the wife that what you are doing at home 
so the main things i told you that you have to stand for yourself this we can see that uh, all this is a cuttings of newspaper only for uh, i have just shown only for the awareness that what is happening that ga gang rape in a bus or that is also we can say 9:30 if uh, mainly what we are uh, seeing that uh, uh, girls can't go outside always you know uh, if the women uh, if the man is working out at night and if he come at night at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock what the parents are telling you know oh my son what uh, means uh, hard work he is doing but the same thing if uh, uh, her uh, daughter in law will come at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock the question is oh what come, kind of job it is that you have to do at 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock so the big difference is here the the mentality is not good there is nothing problem in us we are not uh, we don't have anything uh, less in us we are empowered in ourselves but the main things uh, main problem is that the family or the society don't understand what still now it is happening that the society don't understand that there is no discrimination between the man and a women all are equal the only thing is that the mentality should be equal and for that the only things we can do is uh, create awareness make them understand what is the importance of a women's uh, in everyone life the last is thank you for uh, thank you so much for your attention because it means a lot when somebody listens to you if somebody pay attention to you it means a lot because uh, when i am as a, i am a girl i am able to speak in front of you is only because i have um, a courage i my parents are supporting me i can stand in a public and i can speak that yes uh i can fight for my own rights but what about the poor children that they don't have a shelter they don't have a support you, uh they can't do anything because they don't have even the money to eat they don't have even the shelter to live so how they can put a case on the crimes the okay. big question is that thank you divyani thanks a lot so now it is time to listen from the great leader i will connect two more leaders but now i would like to get a great clap for all of you please can we clap for divyani can we please great 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 efforts thanks thanks a lot for presenting great presentation being so young it is our great luck to have your presentation on this international platform so vilma How about you? Can we ask question? And how is your song? Where is your song, please? Okay, dear. Can you connect your song? After It's that, Dilip, make... you will connect your video. Yes. Okay. Yes, go on. Go on. Vilma, it is your um, time. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. So. The change I want to make is to help women believe in themselves. I want to help women believe they are able to do anything they want, and this will be through education. So, in my country, the rights have been established, but just unfortunately, just in law papers, like some other countries. Um, here. It is said that women and men have all the same rights, but unfortunately, that's not true. For example, if I am with a guy in a company competing for a vacancy there, for sure the vacancy will be for the guy because he wants to get pregnant, and the company won't have to pay for him to be at home for six, for six or four months. So the rights are not the same. And how can we empower uh, empower women? How and who can help us? So women can be empowered by education, just in my opinion. And through education, we can conquer anything in our life. We can have our dream job. We can get to know the world. We can be the owner of our lives. And anyone can help. to empower a woman just motivating and showing they are important and they are the reason boys are here they are the reason we are here and because of a woman all boys and everyone was born so we have to respect and we have to empower them 
And what transformations and strategies can we do? So first of all, as I said, showing them, showing women and girls, they are able to do anything. They just have to believe in themselves. And second, inspiring them to study. Study really hard. Because just with knowledge, uh, just knowledge can bring a better life. Yes. For the ones who are not rich, the only chance they have is studying. They only have uh, only chance studying. That's why we have to teach girls and also boys to believe in themselves and study. Study really hard. Because if they have knowledge, they will fight for their rights. And no one will need to do that for them because they will know about their rights and they will run for it. And uh, what are the barriers that we have? So here in Brazil, and I believe in many other countries, the barriers we have uh, is that uh, women's and women and children, they have to believe in their rights and they have to fight for them. And uh, here in Brazil, for example, every seven hours, a woman, is, a woman is killed just for the fact that she is a woman and it's so sad. And another barrier is that women are not given opportunities and they are not empowered. So we have to do that. We have to tell them they are able to do everything they want. We have to tell them that they can be good wives, but they can also be good mothers and they can also be good, um, they also can be um, good uh, professionals because people say that, I still listen to this, People say that, oh, if you work so hard, you won't have time for your family. And then maybe your husband and your daughter won't uh, be by your side. But I believe you have to empower women to believe in themselves. And yes, we can have our family, we can have our professional life, and we can have all of them. You don't ha we don't have to worry about having a good professional life and losing our personal life. And we have to say all girls out there, they are able to do anything because sure, we are able to do anything. And we do things with our heart and soul. We care about others and we have to care for other girls. We, it's our obligation to stand up for them. And it's our obligation to be the voice for the ones who are in need. And we are girls and we have to stand up for other girls. And boys, thank you for the ones who stand up for your girls. Thank you to all uh, fathers out there who's, who tell their children that they are able to do things. Thank you to all the husbands that say their wives are able to do things. And thank you everyone who support girls. And we have to do that every day because they really need our help. Thank you. Mission. Okay. Please go on, carry on. Vilma, okay. that was great explanation. And Katarina, how good you uh, are in presenting in uh, presentation. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, dear. Elif, are you able to yes. connect? Uh, yes, uh, I connect, uh, but uh, yes. Uh, do you uh, see my yeah, yeah, uh, it, is, it is on the way from Turkey to Dhaka. It is flying. It is in the flight mode right now. It is coming, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see. 
women's rights right human working with equal play voting election occupation vocational education gender equality self determination for women independently of their economy social occupation non job quality equality a strategy for all forms of gender based violence approval women's places in politics okay thanks elif thanks uh, a lot uh, uh i think yeah it's uh, buffering i think the uh, slow network yes <laughs> the problem, the problem uh, i'm sorry uh, if you want uh, uh, i can share link of my video <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah of course you can share with our group and we can uh, of course share with everyone and now this is our time uh, vilma would you like to share the song do you like to share vilma your microphone is off yes dear i'll i'll try give me yeah. a moment can you try yes yeah please go on Just a moment. I couldn't see any any other presentations, so I'm not so sure I'll be able to. Yeah, but that's can. the point. You. you can share your presentation, and right at this moment, uh, we are expecting the song from Vilma. I think she will be able to connect. And thanks, Elif. It was a great effort for showing the video. It was really, really great. And uh, Katarina from Sweden, I would like to connect to you for the message to the world, leaders' message. Katarina from Sweden, do you like to share? Yes, Katarina from Sweden. Can you please share the leader's message, final message to the world? It is to protect I can I listen, I think a song, right? Can you see my screen dear? Uh screen is not visible but we can listen the song but we were listening actually i think the screen is coming so do you like to share please the screen uh okay katarina did you finish your microphone is off katarina no i stopped because of the song <laughs> I wanted to say that we have to work together, all of us. It's, it's a global society, and all, if all women go together, and with children, and also with support of the men who understand this, that this is for everybody, then I think it will be a great success in them. Thank you. Super. Viviani, what is your message to the world? Viviani Arjun Singh from yeah, India. Viviani, can you hear? 
Uh, yes, the I can hear you. The first thing I want to tell that uh, message to the world is the big thing. The first message I can give to um, all the women is uh, that the the first thing they have to believe. We can see the belief is the most powerful weapon. Then we can uh, the wars uh, we can uh, win the wars by not only by the weapons but also by the most powerful weapon that is belief. And another things. I can tell our women does not. Uh, yes, uh, as ma'am told that uh, women are not given the job for because uh, they are that uh, um, that some cases uh, they are there. But I totally say that yeah, ma'am is totally true that it is happening. It is the facts uh, in the society. But how we are here to create awareness to make people understand that if they can give a birth to a new generation, if they can run the world by giving a birth to a baby, then they can run their office or they can run the world very smoothly. So I will tell that um, don't judge them because only that uh, she will be a mother and you have to pay, uh, you have to give six months holidays or you have to pay. Please judge them by their talents because uh, women have a great talent in themselves. I will think the more uh, more talent are there hidden in the women. Only the things they need to express it. They need to know in themselves that uh, women are not only born to born to be in a kitchen, live in a kitchen, or they are not only born to uh, take care of their family, or they are not only born uh, to wash clothes and all. They are born to run the world. They are born to educate. They are born to work in the offices. They are born to change the thinkings of the world. So my only I can give the knowledge or I can give my thought to the world is just believe in yourself and go ahead. Yes, fight with everyone for your right, but don't fight for and don't always fight for justice, but, but don't fight for injustice because some people what they do, uh, they just uh, fight only because uh, they need some spices in their lives. So don't mess up things because already the things are messed up. We are trying to make it clear. So don't mess up things. Uh, 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 please support the women uh, who are uh, who want their rights. Please support them because uh, women always are there to support everyone. Thank you. Okay, where is the presentation of Ashutosh? Yes, the. Can you please connect? I'm really sorry that uh, I couldn't see your face, so I thought you were not connecting today. So, Vilma, uh, thanks. I'm trying to share, but I'm expecting that. Thank you, dear. Yeah, presentation my Skype is not here. letting me to do that. Atutosh, can you go for this? Yes, the. Yeah, please carry on. Dee, can you see my presentation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has come. Please carry on. So, okay, Dee. So, today uh, we are present here on a special topic women's rights and their justice. So, now means I would like to start from my introduction. So, my name is Ashutosh Singh. I'm from Mumbai and I'm studying class 8. So on this platform, many times I have sp uh, speak on this topic. So uh, I feel really bad that the growth of our society is developing day by day. But the mentality or thinking of the people is still the same. They just want women to stay in the kitchen. And so I'm here to present my presentation to support the woman and to clear the doubt of men that women are born to fly. Don't keep them in prison. So now I would like to start. Now uh, the society is growing, but we can see that the case of child abusement is growing, growing. Rules are made to stop the cases. So if the rules are strict, then why it is increasing? Why government is not taking a serious action? why people think that it is a common issue now next is uh, we know that women are fighting for their rights from the birth time so when they fought for their job 
with family then they again have to face problem in their workplace so where they can get their rights place of justice so this is a not common but a very big issue about women empowerment everywhere women is said that yes i uh, means she is not i uh, means she can't go to work she can't do anything